attracted everyone from Genesis and Supertramp to Robert Plant and the Stranglers, plus hundreds of local bands. And now a new book charts its extraordinary history. Here's Ali Bells. 1982 and the Stranglers are riding high and it's to the granary that they go to give Golden Brown its first public airing. Golden Brown, fine attemptress Through the ages she's heading west The Victorian building on Welshback started its musical life as a jazz venue in the late 60s. But gradually more progressive music crept in under the influence of musician and DJ Al Reed. Name any famous name and they'll have played the Bristol venue. This is a Thursday the 16th of March, 72. Uh, Supertramp and Judas Priest uh, played on the same night and we had change from £100 when we paid the bands. <laughs> Got amazing. Ge uh, Genesis just before them for £50. Thin Lizzy here for £40. They wanted to play the Granary as well. It was the place to play in Bristol. Now all these memories have been captured in a book charting this unique bit of Bristol's musical history. Robert Plant chose the Granary to launch his solo career after leaving Led Zeppelin. Thin Lizzy, Mungo Jerry, Chas and Dave, over the years, the bands just got hairier and hairier. Even Radio Bristol's Keith Warmington, seen here sporting a beard and trilby, performed in the Parole Brothers. Now you might wonder what flowers have got to do with the glamour of the Granary. It's the business of local boy Steve Webb. But 20 years ago, he was the lead guitarist in the band Squid. And like all groups of the time, they played Bristol's famous venue. And what a look. Keen, mean, and yes, you guessed it, hairy. Terry Brace, a genius in his own time as I see it now, had this uh, revolutionary idea that any single girl he would see in Park Street or in the Century gives them free tickets to the club. So for a simple country boy from Somerset like me, it was uh, stunning not only for the music, but for the general decor of, of the venue at that time. So take a look at the granary today. Look what it's become. It's been converted into 13 luxury loft style apartments, all very modern and going for a cool 350,000 pounds plus. But for the thousands of people who danced and rocked their way through the night, the memories of the granary will always remain. Ali Vowles, BBC Points West, Bristol.